Hello, I'm Tom Lodziak. In this video, I'm going to take an in-depth look at the technique you need to play a backhand topspin against a backspin ball. So what we're talking about here is when the ball has some backspin and you want to attack. Now, this could be from your opponent's serve. They do a backspin serve aimed at your backhand. It could be from your opponent's push or from an opponent's chop. Whatever it is, the ball has backspin. It's aimed at your backhand. You have options. You could push these balls back and that's fine. That works for some people. Or you could try to attack them with some topspin. There are different ways that you can play this backhand topspin. There's not just one way, there are different ways. So what I'm gonna show you in this video is three different methods. I'm gonna show you a basic method, a spin method, and a speed method. And I'm gonna talk about the pros and the cons of each method. And at the end of the video, I wanna give my views about which of the methods, which of the ways of playing backhand topspin you should focus on. So let's start with the basic method to begin with. Now, basic method, what I'm gonna do is turn my bat angle slightly and then mainly using my forearm, I'm just going to lift the ball up. Let's get sideways on. Slightly turn the bat angle and lift mainly using my forearm. So the benefit of this basic method is, well, it's basic. It's pretty easy to do because all you're doing is using your forearm, turning your bat angle and lifting, trying to brush up the back of the ball. There's not so much which can go wrong with the action because it's fairly basic. But the big downside is your shot quality is not that good. You're not gonna be able to generate that much spin and you're not gonna be able to generate that much speed. So, you'll be able to get the ball over the net. This is good, gives you a different option to pushing, but you're probably not gonna put your opponent under huge amounts of pressure. Now, we're gonna look at a more advanced spin method. Now, here's some footage of um, Ellie Barrity. Ellie does some coaching with me sometimes, and he's going to demonstrate his backhand topspin. Okay, so how is this different from the basic method? So let's look at the things which are the same. Still closing my bat angle slightly. I'm still gonna be using my forearm in this shot, but the key difference is we're now going to be using much more wrist. We're gonna be keeping the wrist nice and loose, nice and soft. And as that backspin ball comes over, my wrist starts to bend back slightly. I drop my bat, probably a little bit lower, just below the table. The ball comes over. I lift my forearm and I snap through with the wrist. Forearm snap through with the wrist. Now what this does, the use of the wrist here, it helps get a lot more racket speed. And with more racket speed, and brushing the ball allows you to get much more spin. Now the use of the legs, also very important when using this spin method. So it's not a case of just using the arm and the wrist, like so. We really want to engage the legs. So as that backspin ball comes over, bending down, 
and that just helps drop the bat in any case and then pushing up with the legs and the arm comes through as well. So you're using the legs to help you generate that extra bit of spin through the ball. So use of legs, very important. So what are the benefits of using this spin method? For me, I think there's three things, three real big benefits here. Number one, by using this spin method, you can attack even very, very heavy backspin balls. So if your opponent really loads up their serve or their push or their chop with lots and lots of backspin, you can use this technique, using the wrists and the forearm and the legs to attack heavy backspin balls. Benefit number two, it's quite a safe shot. And what I mean by that is because of the way that you're spinning the ball, the arc of the ball comes up, clears the net and then comes down. So you get quite a good safety margin over the net. And number three, if you can get a really good brushing contact on this ball, get lots and lots of topspin, your opponent up to a certain level may really find it difficult to return those balls, to block them back, to keep them on the table. And what often happens, what you see so often at local league level and amateur level, is you see a player with a good backhand topspin using this spin method, spin the ball up, the other player gets a bit, ah, does this, and the ball just flies up off the end of the table. If there's any downside to this shot, it's probably because the focus is so much on spin, um, you don't always get the speed to beat people outright. So it's often a shot that somebody can get to, but they have to deal with the very heavy top spin that you can generate. And the third method we're going to look at is the speed method. And again, this is more advanced, and you'll often see a lot of the real top players play their backhand topspins in this way. So, what we're going to now try and do is get more speed into the shot. So, let's look at the technique. So again, like the spin method, we're going to be using forearm and a lot of wrist. Now the difference is, instead of going so much from low to high, low to high, we're going to now start playing a little bit more forwards. So my backswing is probably going to start a little bit higher. I'm turning the wrist into my body and my shot is going to come forwards more, like so. Now, I'm still getting good spin contact, but it's probably a tiny bit flatter than what the spin method is. So it's gonna sound a little bit heavier. So, spin method, boom, boom, boom. Speed method, in, okay, move my arm out the way there, and snap forward. So you can see it's coming forwards more. Still using my legs, legs still very, very important here. Trying to engage my legs, bringing that back back and pushing up with my legs to help get that speed through the shot. Now the clear benefit of this approach is that you can get more speed into your attack. Now this is very useful if your opponent's serve or push or chop only has sort of medium backspin. So there's no need to lift it quite so much. Using this approach against those type of balls, you can really get into the shot and hit clean winners. So it's a good shot to finish off the point. You're beating your opponent both with speed and with spin and a little bit of power in there, okay? However, it is more difficult in some ways. So firstly, our margin of error is now smaller. Whereas with the spin method, we're lifting the ball more to get the ball to 
go over the net. With this speed method, the trajectory of the ball is lower over the net. So your margin of error is a bit smaller, okay? So it's harder in that respect. Um, the other thing to be wary of, playing it in this way, does become harder if the ball has a lot of backspin on it. Because that backspin is really trying to drag that ball down and you're trying to play the ball quite low over the net, again, it becomes a riskier shot. Of course, you could adapt it a little bit, still here, and maybe just brush up on the ball a little bit more to give that little bit of extra clearance. So it's still possible against a heavier backspin ball, but it becomes harder to do and you may just need to alter the stroke slightly. So what method is best? What should you be trying to develop as a table tennis player? Well, clearly, either the spin method or the speed method are much better quality shots. I think this is what you should be aspiring to do with your backhand topspin. In an ideal world, you'd be able to do both. So if the ball has very, very heavy backspin, you have the option of being able to get a good spin contact, lifting that ball over the net. And if the ball is a little bit looser, medium backspin, you have the option of using the speed method to really go through the ball and finish off that point. If you had to focus on one to get started with, I'd probably lean towards starting with the spin method. Um, I think it's probably a little bit easier to do to begin with, plus you have the extra safety margin because you're spinning the ball up a little bit more. Um, you learn how to brush the ball properly and overall it should be a more consistent shot for you. So I'd almost say if you don't have a backhand topspin at the moment, um, what you should be trying to do is working on this spin method, get that nailed down when you're really happy with that then maybe start experimenting with the speed method. But I guess my main message, the main thing I want to get across to you is, you know what? Just do the method which works for you, even if that means doing the basic method. Um, being able to do a backhand topspin, it just gives you so many more options in the game and it gets you out of this um, pushing mentality where you feel you've always got to push, 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 push. So learning a backhand topspin can be a bit of a game changer. It allow you to attack your opponent's backspin serves, boom. Attack their pushes, boom. Even attack heavy chops, boom. So lots of things you can do by developing a good backhand topspin. So just experiment with the different methods I've shown you. Give them all a go. Try out the basic method. Try out the spin method. Try out the speed method. See what works for you. Um, and practice lots. It does need lots of practice. If you don't have this shot at the moment, you're probably not going to pick it up in the space of one session. You know, you're going to need to do thousands and thousands of repetitions until, you know, it's working really consistently. And when you've got to that stage where, you know, in practice, yes, 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 I can do it every time. Then, you know, start using it in matches. Really force yourself to be positive with your backhand and use backhand top spins. The more you do it, the easier it becomes. And then your whole game jumps up a level. Okay, I shall stop talking now. If you've made it this far, well done. Give yourself a round of applause for this. Um, if you want more table tennis tips, go and visit my website, tabletenniscoach.me.uk. Got loads of articles, more videos on there, lots of table tennis tips to help you improve. I will have more videos coming soon, so make sure you, sub -sub you subscribe if you want to get those videos. And I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.